it is important to understand what's going on in people's heads and maybe we can approach that problem. The issue with that is that we don't have any kind of consensus about what extremism is or radicalization and we don't have any way to measure that stuff. So the second paper that I did in the last year, which is called uh, Extremist Construction of Identity, is an effort to build a framework that you can start evaluating people's extremism. And it defines extremism uh, in a way that I think has not really been done before. The definition is that you're an extremist if you believe that the health of your in-group, the community that you're in, can only be maintained at the expense of an out-group. So you have to take action against somebody else in order for your community to be healthy. If you can't separate those, that negative action from the health of your community, then you're extremist. And then that gives us a basis to start evaluating how extremist something is and how people become extremists. And there's a, a framework that I outline in the paper for that.